One day I've realized that all around me there's a lot of people who has stickers over their webcams. So that brought me to an idea like is it possible to hack someone's webcam and how hard can it be? So I went through some materials and I have prepared a demo for you. In this demonstration our target will be to gain access to a webcam and we will do it by misusing a bug in a Firefox browser. The bug is a little bit old, so it's already patched, that's good. But still, this type of bugs appears time to time, but it's special because it doesn't require any user interaction. It's just enough if you will browse on a web page which contains this exploit. So let's start with our demonstration. Right now, we are looking on an attacker screen. He's running a Kali Linux, which can be downloaded for free from the internet. And he's running a shell, and within the shell, he starts Metasploit Framework. Metasploit Framework is a basic software for pen testers or for hackers, because it contains the database of exploits, which can be used against bugs in application. And so the attacker chooses the exploit for the Firefox browser, I have told you about before, and uh, this exploit is quite old, it's from 2014. And the attacker starts putting parameters of the exploit. The interesting fact is that all you can see are all the information necessary to reproduce or repeat this kind of attack. So you can see that it's quite easy and it doesn't take so much time to prepare it. So right now he configured what to do when the attack will be successful, where the victim should connect, and some other parameters. So the server site is ready. Right now we have to convince the victim to visit our prepared website. For that we need some reason or we need some social engineering skills to do some spear phishing on our victim to convince her to visit our website. So for that, I have prepared an email which like fakes that it's from police and it states like, hey, there has been charges against you. You have like three days to visit this website and put some testimony or something. And if you will not do it, you will be persecuted. So. That looks like it's serious enough, and let's send it to our victim. It's morning, and we are looking into the household of our victim, Alice. Alice is used to go through her emails every morning during the breakfast, so like this day. She opens mail browser, and she founds the email from our attacker. And when she opens, it looks like serious enough. And she's thinking like, okay, yeah, I will just click that link. What can happen? It's just a link. I'm not running or downloading anything. Yeah, but she receives an error message like server is overloaded. Please throw it again later. She closes the web page and she thinks nothing has happened, but that's not true. The attacker has gained a shell or remote access on her computer already. And for him, right now, with the tool of Metasploit Framework, it's just two commands to run. He will list the webcams which are available on her laptop. And then he just types webcam start. And the streaming from her web camera will go through. So from my point of view, it's quite easy to gain access to someone's webcam. You don't have to be a programmer or you don't have to be a rocket scientist. It's just enough if you download a free software from the internet and go through the same commands like me. Of course, you can say like that the exploit on the Firefox browser is not working anymore because it's quite old. Yeah, that's true, but similar types of bugs appears normally. So that's not an argument. And also, you can say that you wouldn't click on a link in an email. But it doesn't matter because the malware can be placed on legit websites as well. Because we as users, we don't have any power above what are the servers sending to us. It's in the power of the administrators of the website. And they can place anything 
on their websites or maybe even the websites are getting hacked and the malware is placed on them and also it can take a lot of time to like realize that some one website has been hacked because the malware or the campaign or the attack can be targeted so much that it targets just the browsers which are vulnerable or just some specific IP addresses. So for the rest of the world, it's fine. It's a legit website. But for you, if you are browsing on the website, you will receive an extra malware with the website. So we have to be careful. And to protect ourselves, we need to be using up-to-date operating system, which is supported like Windows 10. And we need to be using up-to-date browser because that's the gate to our computers. And also a firewall or antivirus, they come very handy. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration. If so, you can find some other demonstrations on my YouTube channel as well, or you can go through my blog site where I write about network management and some other attacks or defense. Thanks for watching and see you next time.